Hi there, Ben Porter with Polysource Industries. Today we'll be taking a spray foam sample, checking its density, its adhesion, and its cohesion. First, let's start with the density check. Once you've cut out your chunk of foam, you need a sample that's between 5.5 and 10 grams. That sample needs to be roughly a 2 inch pass. That 2 inch pass cannot include a knit line, which is the line between passes, or skin. Now that we've cut our sample, you got to make sure that all of your sides are smooth. We're then going to take this sample, we're going to check on our palm scale with our 200 gram weight that the palm scale is accurate. Perfect. Then we're going to put our sample on. Alright, we got a 6.56 grams. Now that we have the weight, we've written down our 6.56. Now we need to calculate volume. So for volume, we're going off the concave, which is the bottom of the little kind of half circle in the graduated cylinder. So right now, it's at about 700 milliliters. So we're going to put down 700 milliliters. We're then going to take our sample, we're going to slip it into the graduated cylinder, use our knife here, because we do want to have the most minimal amount of surface area of the knife actually in the liquid. So our calculation is correct. We're going to drop it down so it's below the meniscus. We're going to come back up so we're just slightly below the meniscus. And we are at 900 milliliters. We're going to put down 900 milliliters. We're going to subtract the two from each other, which gives us 200 milliliters. We're then going to put the 200 milliliters under our volume on our daily work record. 6.56. We're then going to divide it by our milliliters, which was 200, which gives us a 0 0.0328. And we're going to multiply that by 62.4. That gives us a 2.05 density which is pretty darn good. Now that we've finished performing our density check, we're going to move on to adhesion and cohesion. So the adhesion and cohesion is super straightforward. We have our stainless steel coring tool that comes in the kit. We're going to take it, we're going to put it onto the foam, and then we're going to sh shove it down until it hits the substrate. The substrate in this case is metal. Now that we have the coring tool hitting the substrate, we're going to remove it. Now that we've removed the coring tool, and hit the substrate. We need to take our scale and make sure that we can do a pull test that's going to hit a thousand grams. So we're checking for both adhesion and cohesion. Uh, there's two check marks to have in your daily work record here. Now if you want to properly check for the cohesion uh, as well as the adhesion then we have to use our epoxy glue. You're going to take your epoxy glue you're going to take the puck here, apply the epoxy, mix it, and then you're going to let that set up for about five minutes. Once that's set up, you're going to take this scale and you're going to do your pull test. And you're going to pull it to a thousand grams. Now, if it hits that thousand grams, then you're good to go and you just check it off. What do most guys do in the field? Most of the time, they just take the hooks screw it into place, like so, and check for the adhesion. Boom, a thousand, we're good to go. Now, I want to stress, that's only checking adhesion. Now the cohesion that I'm talking about is those knit lines that I was showing you earlier on that other sample. Those are the lines between the different layers of spray foam. So you can't check for cohesion when you put, screw this bad boy in you need this guy to be able to check for the cohesion. This will be able to just check for the adhesion, where if you put your glued puck down, that will check for the adhesion and the cohesion. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you learned a lot. We also sell these certification test kits if you're ever looking for one. We look forward to working with you. Thanks so much. Polysource Industries, your one-stop shop for all things foam and protective coatings.